What's up guys, I'm Nick of Camera Crunch, and in this video I'm going to talk about the new healing features and clone features of the new Adobe Lightroom 5 beta. Now, they haven't completely redesigned the cloning and healing tool, they just added a new feature which I will show you in a bit, which I have right here in front of you actually. So let's look at that. So right here I have a picture of the bridge and in the water there's like uh, bits of trash, not really trash, but um, I don't know what to call it. It's like wood, wood chips and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to try to remove some of that today. Um, so we'll, we'll go up close. And Lightroom 4 originally had the healing and cloning tool and so did Lightroom 3, but it was the method in which you did it was you click and then it would do that. It would set a circle and you, you choose where to heal or to clone from. And that is still there. It's still available in Lightroom 5. But what you can do now is rather than clicking you can click and then drag. So now it's an actual brush and I'm just clicking and dragging with my mouse. And and then it's going to choose an area where to heal from. And you can still address that area if you don't like the area that it's choosing from, but it's a lot more uh, fluid, I guess, and you can be a lot more selective with the areas that you uh, clone or heal from. So this is very good if you're going to, going to use it with like a face or something like that or anything for that matter. You can be a lot more selective. Now, from what I found, um, the places that it chooses to clone from aren't always that good, but you know, maybe it's because it's still in beta or maybe you'll have to really handle that selection yourself. But you know, it's a really nice addition and it's bringing us closer to having Lightroom as a, a complete tool for, for photographers where you don't really need to move back to uh, Photoshop, uh, and Lightroom 5 hasn't, br you know, made it that completely yet. But you know, we're we're getting there. We're getting some nice tools that really makes Lightroom a complete software for photographers. So that's it, guys. So now, again, instead of just being able to click, you can now click and drag. Again, I'm Nico of Cam Crunch, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.